Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. My name is In Harm's Way, and this is Magic the Gathering Arena. These are our daily deals, and I'm going to purchase the Rakdos sleeve because I want to get as many of the sleeves as I possibly can. Uh, I changed out over the weekend from playing our Ouchies or Death and Murder deck to play in Lifebringer, and Lifebringer wasn't bad. It went eight, or it went nine and ten, and then I changed out our Cavalcade deck. Or, I'm sorry, what was originally our Cavalcade deck? Um, I I just changed out to put a couple of Raging Goblins, which I don't think I like. I want something else with haste, something quick with haste. I I guess. That would work. Fervent Champion. And if we get a second... Let's see, what is our 1.7? Maybe I could do some Robber of the Rich instead of Fervent Champion? No, because this is all about getting that Cavalcade out. So we'll change that. Because it starts as a 1-1, one, one, but could end up being a 2-2. Two, two. Or a 2-1, sorry, not a 2-2. Two, two. A 2-1 two, with... First strike. Um, I went six and two with calamity. We dropped again. We were, oh, we didn't drop again. We're at 88. It's what I had gotten up to. So, hoping to stay there or higher. Blue black, this is probably a control deck. We played against a couple of those. A thought erasure is kind of what I was expecting. So they start by scrying two, okay. Then they choose a card name, then when they cast that spell, then they look at the top card of ours and their own library. I, th I, I took all of the high end cards out of this deck for a reason. My goal is to get the aggro out there, deal as much damage as we possibly can, as quickly as we can, and then move on. So they scry two so they know what that card is and they know what this card is. Devourer of Memory. Okay, so they play that next turn. Yep, don't like Thief of Sanity, so we're not going to let it sit. Uh, honestly, hate any time that they can steal my cards. Jaya's Greeting is an instant as well, so if they bring something out that is has three, we can do that much damage to them as well. So now when Devourer of Memory comes out, they can draw two cards. And we're expecting Devourer of Memory to come out. There it is. I didn't know it was just a 2-1. Alright, so what they were going to do was they were going to try and get rid of anything that could get rid of that card, and since I got rid of it, they went, uh oh, okay, we're done, and backed off. So we've won two battles today because I went to this workshop, uh, Power and Glory workshop, 
Uh, I think that as a commander deck, or a, I don't think it's a brawl deck. I think it's more of a commander deck. That those decks are pretty cool. I played the black one, so S L R A is our opponent. We're at 89%. They're at 92%. I'm hoping before we end this season to be at to be ranked, to actually be numbered. I wonder why they said oops. I'm not sure, but okay. They have black, so black is typically creature removal. And we're done with creatures, so if all we're going to do from here on... I exile a card from my hand. We've got all the mana we need for everything in our in in our deck. Period. So sad thing is that's going to do three damage. Oh, scorching dragonfire comes. That that's a good one to come back to. Ten Street comes in. I've got a couple of Chandra's, uh, the flying one, I forgot what it's, Spitfire. I've got a couple of Legion, uh, war bosses. They're down to eight. They may play another one of these. Nope. A fen fen looker. I didn't have anything in my hand to get rid of, so that works for me. I got rid of the Chandra, Apprentice Chandra Planeswalker. I, I, I wanted to get as many Cavalcades of Calamity out as I possibly can, and as many 1-1s as I possibly can to do as much damage to our opponent as we possibly can. That's going to be three points. So they are one point away. One Cauldron Familiar, they gained a point. A Witch's Oven, cool. They can actually do some stuff here. Oh, okay. They're going to lose two with that, so. And that's actually four, so good game. They can gain one, but that's it. They're still losing four. And that was the goal. The whole goal of this was to get as much of this down as I could actually know they could gain three life that's a good way to go they're still gonna lose though because they can't get that out eighty nine percent mythic hoping to get further up that ladder I'm, I'm like I said I hope before the season's over let's look at the profile I think the season's over in four days. Four days. I want to be numbered. Not just 89% or 90-something percent. I want to be... I want to have a number in the Mythic world. I know. I, I was lucky just to make it to Mythic, but... Forest Crunk. <laughs> a 
Let's see, a fervent champion, a scorched spitter. This looks good for now. We go first. Okay. Scorch Spitter's going out first. Then we'll work the Fervent Champion and the Torch Courier next. Still need the third card to get the Spitfire out. That's okay. Second Scorch Spitter. Could have done the greeting against it, but if I were them, I'd get rid of the Scorch Spitter. But I'm not them, so. That was what I would do. Okay. So, gonna work on keeping the healer's hawk there so they can get more life. I can dig it. Oh, that's why. Or maybe not. Because he can go over the top, so it doesn't matter. He doesn't need to actually block with it. Yep. That's going to hurt them, though. We sacrificed Torch, Torch Courier, and Chandra is playable this turn. So, right this second, Chandra is going to deal four damage. If I had the Cavalcade out, Chandra would deal 10 damage. 13 damage. Scorch Spitter. It's gonna die. Which I'm okay with. I have another one. We do Jaya's Greeting to the Healer's Hawk and Scorch Spitter. We're good. Can still only deal two damage. Helioid, man, that's going to pump up the healer's heart. It's still going to die, but it's going to pump up the healer's heart. Oh, okay. Uh, they're going to take the Spitfire. Which, okay. That works. Johnny's Pride Mate, okay. Can't do anything on its own right this second. They can use it to block, though. We're not going to attack this turn. They can put... Angel of Vitality, okay. Now put on that. So that it pumps up. And then they can gain three life instead of the two. There 
there you go. Game three. Can't stop that right now. Can do two points of damage. And die. So he can pump that up and, and start getting there. I don't have anything that can take that out. Good call. So four points of life. Now it's just going to keep getting bigger. They've got three here, so they've got something in their hand they can put out. Unless I can figure out a way to get Angel of Vitality out of there. We're toast. I'm going to mark this up as a loss. Because we're two turns away from dying. See, even with Scorching Dragonfire, we can't really do anything. We would need... Okay. We can do something to that. I'll calmly take the five points of damage. And next turn, I'll take the six. Just couldn't, couldn't do it. Would have needed to kill that as soon as it came out and didn't have the card to do it. So, marked it down as a loss. Let's see where we ended up. This is, I, I am playing an aggro deck. We ended up stayed at 89, so that's not bad. <coughs> our opponent goes first, so our first thing should be the Fervent Champion. <clears throat> not sure how... I apologize, that went down the wrong way. Now, what we want this time is for them to block again. Oh, they're going to gain three and draw a card. And be able to put a land in. I'm okay with that still being a one there. Not, not as okay with the Gilded Goose being out there. Because that's a mana. And more land. So we'll put the Spitfire out this time. So this time I think we put the mountain out, both Scorch Spitters, and then attack with these two, and then shock them direct. So, mountain out, Scorch Spitter out.
Scorch Spitter out. I'll attack. So that'll be seven as of right now. See if he blocks, which he might. Okay. I'm okay with that. So that'll be two more off of them, and then ten more because of Chandra. Because of the Spitfire. And the next turn will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I didn't see what that was. The food. Got it. So they're going to bring one of the lands back out as a 3-3. Three, three. No blocks. Take me for the three points. Not underestimate my fortitude. Okay. All right. Now, I think that's her plus one, isn't it? Yeah. So next turn, we'll actually deal enough damage to kill both. Unless they have a removal card, which they might. A board wipe? Still don't have enough to bring this out. It requires five. Requires. Requires. Wow. All of a sudden I can't speak. Requires five. Two, four. Six. Something big. And one. You, remember, you still have this one here. Hydroid Crisis, okay. Which is fine. We can still do four damage direct. And they're not gaining any life. So, good game. Doesn't matter, we're gonna win that one. I think, yeah, we still had one more hit to them. I could have pointed one at Nyssa and made Nyssa die. I get their, what they were trying to do there, and it worked to an extent. Anything new? No, nothing new. Okay. Get right back into it. Uh, we're not moving up in rank, which means that we're probably kind of, we, we've stagnated. We, we have to win quite a bit more in order to get up in rank. Yeah, see, this doesn't really work. I have no creatures at the beginning. This is better, but not great. If I draw another land, I can get to Legion War Boss. And there's the land.
Oh, straight to an attack, okay. You gonna... Alright, you gonna shock it, no problem. Kind of figured it. How this deck works. The boy Blake. A runaway steamkin, alright. You can block it. Oh, or not. Drawing another Legion War Boss would be cool. That works just as well. Two attackers for four damage. I lose them, but okay. I can just keep attacking with the Legion War Boss. Oh, okay. Come at me. Yeah, that was exactly what I was expecting. Good game. Amber Cleave, it's really, really tough to play against. I could have blocked a little bit of that damage, but it would have killed my Legion War Boss. Now, three or four Cavalcade of Calamities out at the same time that you've got two or three Legion War Bosses, I'd actually like to see that play once or twice. I got my My Little Pony deck cover here. Well, okay, we're going to keep what we have. Get as much out as we can, as quickly as we can. They go first, so say hello. They went down to six, though, so okay. Which means I can go with a Scorch Spitter first. And next turn, we might be doing a Yaya's Greeting. Nope, we won't. Scry 2, draw 1. So this time, let's put... down to 14. Teferi. Oh, what are they going to put in my hand? So they gain life. That's fine. What are they going to put back? The Scorch Spitter? Probably one of the hastes. I was wrong. The cool thing is I don't need to use the Jaius Greeting in order to get him dead. So, 10th Street Dodger, Fervent Champion, Scorch Spitter. Now, I don't have a lot of power out there, but I'm pretty wide right now. Okay. The alarm just went off. That means that for those of you who are tuning in from YouTube, that's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name's In Harm's Way. I hope everybody has a great day. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, um, 
Please hit that notification bell. I put out videos five days a week. We will talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.